Now all new at 11, when Fido goes missing or your tabby takes off, you might think you need a real life Sherlock Holmes to get them home safe. Well, that's where Jamie Katz comes in. You see, she specializes in reuniting lost and missing pets with their owners. <laughs> CBS 4's Joe Murray goes on the trail with South Florida's very own pet detective. What's a lovely dog you have there, sir? In the movies, when your pet is missing, you call Ace Ventura. I'm going to give him a scent from a case that we worked the other day. In right, South Florida, oh, you dial now? Jamie Katz, pet detective. It's just an amazing feeling that you just, you know, you just help that family go back to normal. In October alone, Katz, who's a licensed private eye and canine handler, helped bring Bodie the lost border collie home in Parkland, Mitsuo, a cat roaming seven days in Coral Springs, and Swag, a black lab mix found in Coconut Grove. Oh, oh, oh my God. Oh. The reunions are emotional. If you don't have 100% into finding your pet, if you're not gonna, you know, follow instructions and get them signs up and follow every sighting and take it seriously, then you have less of a chance. It starts with flooding neighborhoods and social media with pictures of the missing animal. Make it impossible for anybody to not see a sign in the area that you live. The signs often lead to sightings. You gonna find this doggy? Go to work. Depending on the situation, Catch uses trained tracking dogs. She showed us how it works. Using an object with a lost animal set, the dogs can take you to the spot where the trail ends. Woo, 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 woo. Good boy. Good boy, Fletch. Cats has about a 75% success rate. Now, finding a pet is a little easier than finding a human. It'll cost you anywhere between five and $900 to locate your lost animal. I was frantic. Natalie Lopez hired Cats to find Choco when he disappeared. I've had him since he was seven weeks. He was this little and absolutely adorable, and I've taken care of him every single day since I was 17 or 18, so he means a lot to me. Lopez began with posting signs of Choco miles from her home. Then Katz's dogs made a troubling discovery. They were able to follow his trail and they were able to find out where he must have gotten picked up, like where his trail stopped. So that to me and to Jamie signified that he was in a car. It took 48 days in paying a $2,000 ransom to bring Choco home. Lopez says it would not have happened without Katz's help. She was available 24-7, so she was like my lifeline. There are unsolved cases, pets still missing, but no matter how much time goes by, Katz never ignores a phone call or passes up a lead to make the impossible possible. Doing this work, period, is, is hard. So when you finally get that animal back, it's amazing. It is. In Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.